The governor has been advocating across the state in his budget for funding for mental health services. I, along with 108 other House members on both sides of the aisle, are co-sponsors of House Bill 1900, which creates a professional licensure for behavioral analysts. These professionals use the science of applied behavior, called Applied Behavior Analysis, or ABA, to improve the outcomes for individuals with chronic conditions. Currently, 31 states license uh, behavioral specialists or analysts, and New Jersey just licensed them uh, last month. So with that said, can you explain to the committee why these professionals were denied their Sunrise application for proposed licensure of behavioral analysts when this administration is looking for more funding and qualified and experienced providers to reduce health care cost? So I'm going to defer this again to Acting Commissioner Johnson. Uh, good morning, Representative. So morning. to answer your question, we did review the Sunrise application. Um, we did not support uh, licensure at this time. We are open to discussions with the stakeholders um, to discuss our reasons for why we, um, why we did not support the Sunrise application. Uh, there, to, to parse some of the detail, we did not, um, we, were, we were concerned about the application creating the presumption of an, of a, of an elite uh, class of licensure. Uh, that was separate from the existing class of licensure that already exists, which is the behavioral uh, specialist license class, of which behavior analysts can now operate under. So um, we expressed that concern to the stakeholders, and we also expressed a concern to work with them uh, moving forward to, to try to amend the language or um, or work within, uh, work within our existing parameters to, to come back with a, with a with a vehicle that, that makes sense to us and also makes sense to them and, and, and hopefully uh, push forward in the process. But. So I, th I think the concern is, um, in my district specifically, parents are getting great results um, with behavioral analysts and specialists that they were not seeing before. Um, and being able to integrate children specifically into situations that may have been impossible previously. So they are seeking out these services, and I think it's incumbent upon us to make sure uh, that they are getting to the professional, somebody who's been well-trained, um, and that licensure, I think, kind of gives that assurance to the public that that's what they're getting, what they're seeking, um, and, and the child is getting the best care possible, or the individual's getting the best care possible. And uh, am I correct? Behavior specialists are licensed in Pennsylvania, so this was creating an additional is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. So we have behavioral specialists. It was just creating a separate behavioral analyst. And I think, um, I, you know, I think the one of the goals is, is it, you know, it, this is a constant balance, I think, and the governor's, you know, always trying to reach this where sometimes creating a new class can actually create barriers rather than lower barriers. And so, you know, does it make sense to create a new class of licensees or work through the existing behavioral specialists. And I, I don't pretend to know all the issues involved here and happy to continue having the conversations. But I think um, he, it's a high priority for the governor not to create barriers to people who are looking to assist with the populations that you're talking about. And I think that we would agree with that. Um, if you would be open to more dialogue on the issue, we would be glad to come and talk to you about it. That sounds good. Thank you, Thank you. Representative.